Exits. We all have them. They're activities that we use to avoid intimacy with our partners. Now, why would we want to avoid intimacy? Well, according to author Harville Hendricks in Getting the Love You Want, it all stems back to those childhood wounds of where we were hurt, and so we create these avoidance mechanisms to prevent it from happening again. But now that we are choosing to be in a conscious relationship, it's really important to close these exits so that we can go through this process and enjoy a new level of intimacy we've never known before. Now, of course, there's some really dramatic ways you can exit a relationship, divorce or insanity, but what we want to focus on today are some of those softer ways that we avoid intimacy, such as overeating or watching too much TV. Again, they're very subtle and socially acceptable ways that we are avoiding connecting with our partners. One of my exits is not being present in the moment. Uh, I'll either be daydreaming or I'll be thinking about something in the future or the past or I'll want to talk about some analytical concept that I've read about, but meanwhile I'm ignoring what is happening right here and now. Another exit is in cruising the web. Man, I can start researching a camera on Amazon.com and the next thing I know I'm on Bruce Springsteen's saxophone player's Wikipedia page and three hours have gone by. Another exit is in working on art projects. I could literally spend the next two years working on the book that I've written or all the videos that I want to create and I still wouldn't be finished. One way I exit is by getting on the phone at inopportune times. This is about getting on the phone right before Mike gets home from work or right as about we're about to sit down to dinner. Those are opportunities that I could really connect and be intimate with my husband but I'm choosing to pick up the phone. Another way I like to exit is by having these huge elaborate cooking projects. You know, I like to soak grains and to hydrate and, you know, puree and do all these crazy things and I can create a lot of chaos around it. So that's another way I like to exit um, as well. And the third way is obsessing about my health. And that mama's could be a series all unto itself, so I won't even go there. But those are my three top ways. And I really want to make it clear, I love to cook. I love talking on the phone and in fact they really are life-giving to me and they're really important things in my life. So this isn't about eliminating hobbies and activities that you really enjoy doing. It's just about balance and it's really about my motivation. You know, am I talking on the phone again to avoid that connecting time with Mike or am I doing it because I want to connect with my friends and you know enrich my own relationships. Here's an exercise from Getting the Love You Want that will help you look at your exits and help you close them. Okay, so what you need is four sheets of blank paper, your partner, some pens, and some time. What you're gonna do is you and your partner are each gonna take two sheets of blank, of blank paper, you're gonna take your pens, and you're gonna write down for the first 10 minutes all the ways you exit the relationship. It's really important to be rigorously honest in this part of the exercise. And uh, after that 10 minutes, you're gonna take the other blank sheet of paper, and you're gonna write down ways you perceive that your partner exits the relationship. After you're finished with that, you both come together and you share in a very non-judgmental, open and honest way all your discoveries through those exercises. Now, if you have issues with healthy communication, stay tuned to our series because we'll be talking about some great ways you can improve that later on. Once you're done with that, you want to add all the ways that your partner perceives your exits to your exit list. Then you're going to circle some um, exits that you're willing either to reduce and or eliminate for a one week period. And that's what I love about this exercise. It's very gentle. It's only looking at one week of what you're willing to do. So after that one week of practicing eliminating or reducing those exits, you come back as a couple and you discuss what worked, what didn't work, and then you fine tune and tweak. And then it's just kind of an iterative process. I mean, really Mike and I, by even doing this video, we started looking, gosh, I do this and I do that. It's something you always want to kind of stay on top of because it's a very subtle thing. But it, you know what? It's all ways that are going to get you in a better love relationship by staying on top of that. So that's the exercise. I hope you guys will give it a try. And once we're done with really closing those exits, then we can have this wonderful intimacy and we can start looking at our relationship vision, which is going to be the focus of our next video. So please stay tuned. <laughs>